Avista Rentals offers three sizes of tripod projection screens. I'm standing in front of the six foot screen, and as a matter of comparison, I'm 5'7". So you can see it's a nice, big, professional looking screen. We spec this out for groups of 50 people, but you can certainly use it for slightly more or less than that, depending on the layout of your room. We offer a seven foot size and an eight foot size as well. I'm gonna show you how to set this screen up and take it down. And I'm gonna use the six foot screen for demonstration purposes. The seven and eight foot screen are exactly the same mechanically, they're just bigger in size. This is the six foot tripod projection screen closed. As you can see, it's about six feet tall. If you're ordering a seven or eight foot screen, that screen will be seven or eight feet. Please keep in mind that you'll need a vehicle that can take a seven or eight foot tall screen. It works fine in an SUV, a minivan, a hatchback car, and often sedans have a hole in between the trunk and the back seat that you can also slide this through. But just think about that a little bit before, um, before you come to pick it up if you are ordering one of the larger screens. Let me run through how to open this screen up for you. There's, it's basically attached for easy transportation and you can carry it with this handle. It's a nice heavy duty screen. There are three places that it's hooked right now. There's a top hook, a hook for the actual screen itself so it doesn't come out during transportation, and the legs are, are actually hooked in. To release the legs, which is the first thing you want to do, you just step on the little release button and a plate actually lowers and the legs kind of fall out. The next step, once it's self-supporting, uh, is you want to release the top hook. And you do that by pulling this pin out. This is not a screw, it's actually an in and out um, function. So you release it with your right hand and extend the bar out of the hole. It only goes one way, so you move it this way and simply lift up and place it on the hook. Next step is to make it tall. I use my left hand coming around the bar to push the pin that way, and I use my strong hand, I'm right-handed, so I use my right hand to actually lift the bar up. Uh, this does require a little bit of upper body strength, especially the eight-foot screen, to really get it high. So here we go. Okay, so there are little holes in the side bar here that the pin goes in and out of. Lastly, you can adjust the bottom height of the screen as well. So if you want to get it higher or lower, the way that you do that is, again, this pin right here pulls out. So I'm going to pull it out and move it up a little. And if you, you can have it pop into one of the holes. Maybe you can hear that pop into the hole. If you do, however, want to size it up so that it's in between holes, there's a manual break. And I'm going to put it halfway between the holes and close it up and tighten it with the manual break. And we're all set. To take the actual screen down, I'll use my left hand again to push this pin out and my right stronger hand to guide the bar down. And just kind of let it slip through your hand. And when it gets down to within reach, you take it off the hook, gently get it back in the cradle, and rotate it. There is a pin that fits nicely in a hook so that this screen doesn't come out during transportation and get damaged. Now you'll notice that our hook is too low to go into the top hole. So we have to, again, raise it up a little bit and then come back down and fish for the hole and you'll hear it lock in place. And then lastly, you just need to lift up this plastic piece and um, make sure that the legs are secure. So I'm gonna lift it up and the way that I make sure the legs are secure is just by kicking it. And they snap right in place. So there you go, that's the six foot tripod projection screen, quick demo.